And with the entry of today, this challenge is officially done. Sometimes I forget to be more thankful for the little things because I'm always uh, uh, seeking for adventure and something big. But uh, sometimes you have to learn to appreciate the little things. And that's the challenge for this year, for 2023. Therefore, I bought this extremely beautiful book that's like matching with my fit. I chose the fit especially for the book. Yes, I did. The challenge this year is like I have to write down into this book every day I have to write something down I'm thankful for. With that, I try to achieve to be more thankful, more present. Let's see how this journey goes. This update is just one week after I started this challenge. So I start to notice changes. I start to notice definitely something. The challenge does its thing I guess, I don't know. I start to feel happier in general. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it but when I write into this book, when I thought of the challenge, I thought I'm going to write down one sentence or something, just a little bit of um, every day there has to be something I'm thankful for, for sure. But now when I started writing there were so many little things adding up and suddenly I filled the whole page and I'm so surprised by that, I don't know. And at the end of the day I'm sitting here with, with this book in my hand and realizing how much good stuff happened at the day, how, what a great day it was and what a great life I have. So after one week I realized the first changes. It was like a step up. I'm extremely happy the happiest i've ever been with my everyday life because i just know there is every day something i'm thankful for one year Since it became a habit to write something down I'm thankful for every day that slowly but consistently built an amazing mindset or I noticed some mindset changes, you're used to always searching for the good. You're, you have to, it's, it's the challenge, you know, that's what you have to do. And slowly but consistently your mindset uh, starts to adapt. So I guess if I look back on this year, I have a whole book on things <laughs> I am thankful for. So even if you do think it was a shitty year or not your day, not your month, not your year, there are always things that are good. And this book, the challenge really helped me to track those moments down or just to be more conscious. All those little things that happened, the croissant I got gifted for breakfast, a compliment, a nice chat, everything. The only thing I can say is I really recommend this challenge because it takes nearly no effort, no time, anything else. You just need a book, paper, something to write on and take five minutes, not even five minutes, every day. I did it always before I went to bed. Write something down you're thankful for and if you have really shitty days you still have to sit there and think about at least one thing you're thankful for and you start to realize there are a lot of things you're thankful for. So yeah, it becomes easier. And maybe when you look back on shitty days, they were not that shitty at all. 